Thank you. Well, whether you call it soda or pop, everyone enjoys drinking a sweet, fizzy drink. But sorry, Coke lovers, we're talking about Pepsi, more specifically the history of the Fort Wayne Pepsi bottlers plant on Harrison Street. Take a look. Decades of sweet carbonation pumped into glass bottles, all written on the walls of the Fort Wayne Pepsi bottlers plant. It came down from my great-grandfather to his dad, his son, and to my dad. Bill Shaley remembers working for his dad, Richard, at the plant when he was just a boy. Started here in uh, 1962. When I was 11 years old. This building, though, more than a place where fizzy drinks are made, it all began as a man's dream. A William Shealy bottling company that goes back 125 years in Fort Wayne. John Beatty helped me track the Pepsi bottler's history. He works at the Allen County Public Library's Genealogy Center. 130 years ago, in 1893, a man named Nicholas Steinhauser began a mineral water bottling factory out of his home on Miner Street in Fort Wayne. They pumped water out of a pump and carried it by buckets by hand into a wash tub inside, and then they carbonated it. Not long after, the son of German immigrants, William Shaley, bought the operation. For years, he lived and worked out of that little house. Some of those very early bottles that William Shaley Company made looked like this. By 1918, the house wasn't cutting it. So they built the first bottling plant on North Harrison. It looked like this. But they weren't making Pepsi just yet. They started marketing something called Green River. Strawberry soda, cherry blossom, orange cider, you name it. Something called Ward's Orange Crush. Then in 1946, that Fort Wayne family business is bottling one of the most popular beverages out there, Pepsi. Pepsi family was instrumental in, in a lot of the uh, growth of Fort Wayne. Another Shaley son, John, started bottling soda with their dad at just nine years old. I started sorting bottles. Generations of Shaley's sipping on refreshing success. Four generations of Pepsi. And that brings us to now. The city acquired the plant. They're tearing it down for the next phase of the riverfront development. And just like that, a family business comes to an end. It stood for a lot in Fort Wayne. The Shaley family did get their chance to say goodbye and walk through the building one last time. It's bittersweet going back, going back through this. Obviously, it isn't the same, but uh, it's where it all began. Afterwards, they visited their father, thanked him for his continued legacy, and left him his favorites, a Coney Island hot dog and a Pepsi. For 21 Alive News, I'm Carly Van Cleve. And I did reach out to city leaders to try and get a better understanding of what their plans are for that location on the riverfront. They tell me nothing is set in stone just yet, but they are looking forward to moving on with this phase of the riverfront development project.